हेलो 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 एनी वन देर नो एनी वन देर नो एनी वन देर नो आई जस्ट अपडेट इन द व्हाट्सएप क्विकली No, please not again. Oh, come on. No, you won't let YouTube. It's not done. I don't know. No matter what, we'll try and do it. We'll do it this time. We'll do it this time. We'll do it this time, man. We'll do it this time. Hey, man, Abhishek. Yo. I don't know if. Uh, it's still red. It's still red. What, Abhishek? Please ping me on WhatsApp <laughs> if the video stops. Okay. please main jab bhi aata hu ye ho jata hai <laughs> nahi bhai <laughs> tere aane se nahi ho raha kasam se <laughs> ye network problem hai bhai airtel ka problem kya pata i hope mera awaaz aa raha hoga hum jaisa ki dekh sakte hain to yaar shuru karte hain theek hai ये होते रहेगा हमको नहीं पता अब हम उसमें देख लेंगे मतलब बीच में रुकेगा तो देखा जाएगा अभी स्टार्ट करते हैं यार हम सीधा अभी तो जिसमें का डायरेक्टरी है आई डोंट नो हाउ यू डू इट आई डू इट दिस वे सो जस्ट एक्चुअली आई जस्ट मिनिमाइज दिस एंड मिनिमाइज दिस टू एंड या आई मेक अ डायरेक्टरी um what should i name it let's just check if i have youtube here um youtube 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 ytjs mm, that could work so let's just cd into ytjs ytjs and let's see what's there road map <laughs> i started there but never completed it so make that um i'll say apis yeah apis and promises and let's just hit enter and cd or just open it into visual code man yeah so let's get started so looks like stream isn't लैगिंग आई होप नॉट सीरियसली ओके सो टू ट्राई आउट थिंग्स वी नो दैट वी कैन नॉट यू नो एग्जीक्यूट जी एस विदाउट द ब्राउजर सो आई जस्ट यूज दैट वे और वी कैन यूज नोट जी एस बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट डू दैट बिकॉज वील बी यूजिंग यू नो विल बी मेकिंग अ वेब ऐप टू फैच डेटा एंड ऑल फ्रॉम अ वॉट यू से फेक server so yeah so let's just quickly make a html file index.html and i'll say exclamation mark and yeah so i'll just quickly say apis and promises and i will not waste any time here i'll just quickly type script and script and i'll just give a source src to a uh, file which is not right now available so i'll just call it script.js and i'll create a file okay so that's very cool we have a file i'll just check it so 
alert and connected I'll just like to do it because you know so now to, to open this HTML file uh, I can just simply do that open wait uh, I don't know if this will work in your um, terminal but in my terminal I can just open the uh, you know file explorer here and I can just double click it and open it my browser in it my it in my browser <laughs> but uh, I don't want to do that I will do a cool thing like here I'll just go here and select open with live server and if you don't have this if you are following along and you don't have this what you can do you can go to extensions tab and you can simply um, what do you say yeah search for live server live server live server yeah and install it and you I don't think you would need to reload the IDE but yeah I'll just go ahead and open with live server hopefully that will open it and yeah it'll say connected so yeah it's working our script tag is connected indeed so what I want to talk about I'll just wait for here for some time and I'll just are you there <laughs> is anyone there hello hello <laughs> Akela Kela Filora. All right. No questions, no comments right now. Abhishek. Aruna, are you guys there? Please talk to me. I'm feeling lonely, lonely. <laughs> uh, my YouTube dashboard is slow. <laughs> I can see it on my phone, <laughs> but my YouTube dashboard is slow. I don't know why. Okay, YouTube, go ahead go to hell okay so um, what I have in mind I don't know if you know but uh, I'll just quickly open wait <laughs> it's Ubuntu I don't have paint <laughs> I thought I will illustrate in paint but I don't have paint so what I will do what I should do I don't know I'll just I can say call stack illustration illustrations or I can just open Figma and create some I'm really sorry I didn't think of it that I would need it oh wait it's event loop I should just search for event loop event loop in JS JavaScript all right yeah so we have event loop so what happens when you call a function to just open. because to understand the asynchronous behavior of JavaScript you have to uh, you know understand this so what exactly happens uh, here's a call stack okay so we know that whenever a function is called it is stored in the stack all the variables inside that function will be stored inside a stack and uh, it is stored like uh, one function is called and inside that another function is called so it will be stored above that and once that function is done I mean executed completely then it will be uh, popped off the stack and then the next function below it will be executed right we know that but what happens in the 
during the event loop so when the all the function in the call stack are executed successfully and the stack is empty completely empty oh sorry i didn't see your message man i'm good appen's cut is also good i hope <laughs> so yeah uh yeah so um all the asynchronous behavior or all the asynchronous code basically asynchronous is uh i'll just <laughs> google the exact definition asynchronous meaning yeah asynchronous not existing or occurring at the same time okay so uh, we all know that uh in all this like fun uh, fun one function one function two function three these all will be called in order like first fu function one will be called then function two will be called but function three will be called but what happens is i'll just show you show show you this console dot log if we say i am called first then we say i am called second and then we say i am called third is that right t h i r d yeah uh is the screen visible i i forgot to ask that is the screen visible if you guys can see it please comment in the chat yeah is the screen visible <laughs> weird question because if it is not i will just increase the font size if you want me to increase the font size please tell me huh. yeah so here was i yeah we'll just open our developer tools and oh i think i need to refresh i'll refresh it and we see that i am called first i am called second i am called third no as in no what you want me to increase the font size or is the screen not visible or uh, what increase the font size okay thank you i'll just quickly increase the font size is this good I I just realized I I'm waiting for nothing. You'll see that later. Okay, no issues. So, just let me know if the screen uh, font size is good enough. I'll increase the font size for console too. And yeah. So what I wanted to say that um, this is how a call stack works. So every function will be called in order. Okay. so like i said first this console log will be called from the call stack then another then another then another okay so i mean uh, below it so the point is whenever the browser sees this code it will see from top to bottom but there is something called set timeout i'm sorry which takes a function um which will be called i am called at the end okay and we have to give it some time like in milliseconds okay so i want it to be called after 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds so basically as it is saying that execute this piece of code after 3 second of loading the screen okay so so what will happen here please notice okay i hope the console is visible so i'll the moment i refresh all three are executed and after 3 seconds the i am called at the end uh, log was executed so what happened here the as i said this set timeout is asynchronous okay I, uh, wait even if i do this like okay so what do you think will happen 
this is moment of truth okay so what do you think will happen this then this then this then this or then this then this then this then this what do you think i mean just type if this will happen second or if this will happen at last okay so i might have told you the answer but yeah it will go uh, it will be good if you could answer yeah still waiting we'll have one at last <laughs> okay <laughs> i thought i had given you the answer <laughs> no issues so let's refresh and check so yeah all the calls okay it happened at last because it was 3 second okay let me change the question i'll just put here zero what do you think will happen it should happen uh you know this says it should happen uh after zero seconds of loading or zero milliseconds so what do you think now will happen will it ha- uh, will it be executed at the end as always or it will be executed second what do you think what do you think what do you think as always i guess <laughs> yeah yeah bro no issues guessing is always fun man same like old one okay we see do you know why this will happen <laughs> or again your guess so yeah that happened like the old times but why do you think this happened even if i said zero second why do you think this again came at the end the position also was at second you know not at the top but at second so why do you think this happened at the end why i might have told you the answer at the beginning itself so event loop what is it event loop event loop is basically very smart very smart okay so what it does it uh, it stores all the function calls inside it which are asynchronous in nature so like this one and uh, like set interval set interval i'll show you what it is uh, do you want to see it i'll just show you man mm. console dot log okay it was defined at set time out okay but that's not the uh, exact point i'll t- i'll tell you why it uh, why it is i'll tell you what magic does the event loop does so i'll just tell you in a bit so i will be called be called every time man okay so i will be called every time man okay so this uh, i'll just say one second uh 1000 milliseconds so what this will do is so it will be called ev- uh, okay so it doesn't console log works a different way it won't be uh, print uh, reprinting the same message it will be just showing that it the same message is being printed these many times again and again repeatedly uh, one after another i mean now you get the gist right so uh, no issues so yeah so the point is this is also a asynchronous uh, function and i'll just comment it out because i don't want it here so we were talking about event loop <coughs> what magic does it does does it does does it do <laughs> okay so what event loop does is event loop what event loop does okay so all the asynchronous functions will be stored in here okay you, you just uh, think of it that way that um, 
the asynchronous function doesn't go to call stack at once okay it will go to the event loop because javascript knows these uh, these are you know um, asynchronous functions so it automatically gives it to event loop that you are uh, very genius about it just you just handle them okay so what event loop does whenever all the calls all the synchronous calls synchronous basically um, you know happening at the same time or um, what do you say in sequence or like that only sync a asynchronous opposite of asynchronous aise nahi kar okay koi nahi ah occurring at the same time okay google baba jindabad ha there was i so yeah so all the asynchronous ones will be at the event loop and when all the function calls in the call stack ends there is no function to be uh, executed in the call stack event loop gives him uh, gives it the call stack the asynchronous function i mean then also one after another in the sequence it will be called or depending on their behavior which will be executed uh, i don't know first let's check that actually let's see it will be called every time so let's see which will which will be called i'll keep that uh, 1000 or and it will be called after 3 seconds so let's check uh, how it is called in sequence uh, from top to bottom or whenever the function gets executed first so let's let's see hmm okay so uh event loop does this that it won't be uh calling function in sequence like top to bottom so first that function will be executed which will be completed first as we saw here okay so two times one second set interval was uh, executed then once the set timeout was executed and then again set interval is executing one after another so let's just comment it out refresh so it won't eat our memory and we are back so event loop does that that is the function of event loop and that's how javascript handles asynchronous function asynchronous functions in javascript are not actually actually asynchronous because that also happens synchronously thanks to the event loop okay so that's how asynchronous function becomes synchronous in nature so yeah that's what about uh, asynchronous and why i was talking about asynchronous because the way we consume api i'll tell you what api is i don't remember the full form <laughs> but i will tell you what api is api full form uh yeah api stands for application programming interface basically basically whenever we write server generally in recent times how are we writing server is we are making restful apis you may have uh, heard about it restful apis so what this does is um, basically it gives us endpoints okay so they will give us like uh, i'll tell you uh, what we are going to be using for this you know this today what we are going to be using this is json placeholder fake rest apis for developers so it, we use it for testing purpose testing purposes of our uh, you know front end so uh, what restful apis means uh, we'll get an endpoint from the server so that we can fetch data from that or give data to it like here we had uh, we asked for a to do and we got to dos so that's just way of asking it like if i say uh, slash one so it will give uh, one to do and if i say just to do's endpoint it will give us i guess 10 or i don't know 50 okay 200 uh -huh. wow okay so it will give us 200 to do's i don't really want that so basically restful api is, is that only that it will give us endpoints which we can make a request to for getting the data putting uh, means updating the data in the database 
posting the data or deleting the data from the front end or from any um, other resource other than a server okay and we'll be using this uh, so basically we have uh, a different number of ends, end points like we have posts posts we have photos also okay i didn't see that before so i can request for that okay let's 5000 photos i guess i'll just ask for two okay that's id that's not number that's id my bad my bad i'll just open it okay so basically this was id okay this one id that's not it uh if we say like 5000 i don't think it exists okay it exists it does exist okay so that is id like we are passing the id and it would return it so i okay my bad okay it's just like the name it's a placeholder image so i don't think that will um, uh yeah so we have posts we have comment we have albums we have photos we have to do's we have users so uh abhishek tell me what should we make with these endpoints <laughs> I have no clue what I'm gonna make it. So yeah, help me. So that is how uh, basically, and you saw this from where we uh, from where I copied uh, this URL. This one is also a JavaScript function fetch, and it helps us to basically fetch the URL. So like uh, we do from our browsers, we do this. Uh, we enter the URL and get the data. This is how uh, fetch works. So I'll show you this in just a minute or I'll just show it right here only. What's then? What's then? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? I'll tell you. I'll tell you, man. I'll tell you. I'll just comment it out and we'll just go here and refresh it and it will take some time and it will fetch the object and if you notice if you notice this to do is same as this to do right i don't know which language is this but yeah this is something called lorem some i guess placeholder text so okay go with posts okay we'll go with posts i don't know we'll make a fake blog page or something let's see so what's happening here what is happening here uh, wait okay so yeah so this one fetch is basically used to fetch data and not only we can fetch data we can also post data sadly this um, this api does not actually it has endpoints for getting the data and posting the data but it does not really um, you know support the posting like we cannot enter our own data posting is basically uh, creating data put is updating data in the database please um, uh, you know get these endpoints um, as to relating to the database like getting the data is we are getting the data from the database post basically means creating the data in the database put is put or patch is basically updating the data put and patch and deleting is deleting the data in the database so yeah so get is something we can do easily but i'll tell you how to post it because we can uh, replicate the behavior of posting so yeah we'll do that also leave a like <laughs> if you are new here please subscribe <laughs> okay so let's 
uh, see uh, this dot then is what called promise so this one is promise so what promise does um, is like uh, I have to see the syntax <laughs> just kidding const promise or I'll say my promise so promise is basically um, uh, what you say a class which does something and have two possibilities okay so either it will resolve or it will reject okay so it accepts a function I guess I have to see the syntax of promise creating promise because this thing you never do you always call a promise you will uh, call a function like fetch you will get a promise and you will uh, then work with it and this is something called creating a promise we are creating our own promise so that uh, almost never happens so yeah uh, creating promise in javascript creating new promise in javascript uh, busted i searched about it recently so i don't know why but yeah i promise you uh, i mean i promise about the promise that we don't use promise i mean we don't create new promises we just use old promises or basically okay so it takes a function which has resolve and reject so 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 so, so what happens is we can say that um okay so let's just say uh, we will say the set timeout and it will just resolve with value 1 to 3 after 3 seconds after 3 seconds okay and in later we can say my promise dot then like we call here dot then if you are not getting this please just keep up with it I'm sure you'll get it console dot log uh, I'll get data okay and I'll just console dot log that data hopefully we'll get a data okay okay data and I'll just uh, comment it out so that we uh, actually you know what I'll just comment I'll just delete these console dot logs so that we don't get confused hopefully we won't after three seconds we get that data and that data is one to three so basically what happens is what fetch would be doing is it will be going and underneath it it will be calling something called x h r i guess that's x h r only and which is ht xml http request so this is an old technique to do similar something like this okay but it was really 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 lengthy and i don't really remember it and i don't want to talk about it <laughs> because we have parted ways and i don't want to go that way again so yeah and what reject will do is basically so uh, yeah so what fetch would be doing underneath that it will be making a request to this url which we pass and if that url resolves or um, you know exists somewhere and it returns some data it will just say resolve with data which was you know const data you get from the url okay so it will just resolve with that data but if data uh, you don't get data or there is some problem with the url or anything it rejects that 
with an error or that error could be anything which uh, will uh, I guess that is a uh, server error only because it doesn't uh, you know catches that if the URL is correct and there is no data like we have no to do in that uh, particular database so that will not be you know rejected it will again be resolved but the data will be an empty array i guess so yeah it only rejects on network issues like the url is wrong or anything like that so how we do that how we handle that that is how I handle with a catch and when i say catch i mean catch C A T C H catch and it provides an error like this error object reject error so error console.log and why we are seeing error this error a red error is because we close this so in javascript dot means we are chaining uh, to the same function okay so dot then means we can't have here semicolon because semicolon means the end of the statement but we are chaining dot then calls to the same fetch that's why we cannot uh, add semicolon so yeah that's the thing what is happening inside then we'll talk about it um, in just a moment but first let's check so you got the idea that resolves have data right so it is having data and it is just console.logging oh not here we'll talk about it what is happening here but it console.logs that data and console logging is just basically logging it here okay so yeah I'll just uh, remove I from the URL and hopefully it catches okay it catched type error network error when attempting to fetch a resource okay uh, JS 19 I guess 19 is the catch yeah so 19 is the catch call uh, if you can see here 19 is the catch call so yeah it's in the catch and what I was saying so yeah it caught the network error but again if i had i don't know if we can do this but let's say if does this exist let's just check it quickly uh it does not but it didn't give us an error i guess if we okay <laughs> that way also it accepts Let's just try it with zero. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Mm, okay, we get an empty object. So that means that means it did not go to catch. Let's say 17. J 17. Line number 17. Console.log. Okay. So since there was no network error, it does not reaches to catch. And that's the problem with fetch we cannot get any error other than network error and that is not good so we have to do some uh, you know um what do you say verification inside this dot then call which we can do this by actually not in dot 10 and we have to do that in this dot 10 and since we have to do this let's just quickly console.log the response we get in the first dot then call by uh, by the way now you know that we can chain n number of dot then if required if required so we can so what was happening is this resolve would be would have been a promise so this data which fetch uh, returns or resolves is itself a promise to that we have to resolve or chain a dot then to resolve that so basically and we don't need to uh, actually chain multiple catch because if any one of the then fails it will catch the error <laughs> okay so let's just quickly actually a response dot json and let's just quickly um, 
refresh and see what is in the response and it is undefined why it is undefined response 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 dot json okay we have to return it since uh, and uh, this one is a promise okay so uh, we have to return it so that it can be um, accepted in uh, dot then so that's basically how it works uh, so in the response we should see that in response yeah we see something like okay right so here we can do that um let's see if we have zero then what we what response do we get right is generator kyun chalu ho gaya is generator kyun chalu ho gaya oh sorry yeah so in this when the response is zero uh, i mean uh, the what do you say end point is zero we get okay equals false so in this what we can do is if okay or if is we can simply say if not okay throw new error and we can say here not okay dude okay is not different uh, wait oh sorry response dot okay response dot okay right sorry about that okay okay not okay dude <laughs> right <laughs> not okay 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 dude hey thanks ron kumar thanks i, I do i know you <laughs> i'm sorry man <laughs> uh yeah, by the way thanks for subscribing man yeah so we have that response inside we have a okay uh, property which is either true or false so we are saying just if it is um uh, basically bang we call it a bang or an exclamation mark means if this is false make it true if this is true make it false so basically we are saying if not true that means if it is false throw a new error and there should be you know the text of error so yeah this one catches that and it will uh, i can prove you that this never runs by saying that i am not running oops i am not being <laughs> executed i guess that's proper grammar if it's not just tell me let me know okay we see that it's not being executed and if we say one again we can see that oh we have to refresh i'm sorry console is not a function <laughs> console dot log oh god seriously <laughs> and uh, you you saw that uh, we did not get that error so this then dot then was not called since it threw an error so this behind uh, below this won't, uh, the code below this won't be executed at all so this was not executed this was not executed but since uh, it's the duty of cache to cache any error which is thrown so this gets executed so yeah let's again refresh and check if again console what oh we didn't save come on okay moment of truth yeah i'm not being executed okay now you're being executed man i'm being executed so yeah we get executed and everything is good so yeah so basically this is how we can do uh you know uh verification that we actually get the good response we can actually have uh, another actually let's just make it here that we can say that 
um, let's console dot log it again I can say that uh, zero again so actually we don't need another I'll just comment it out for a bit and let's just refresh and check again check again not a okay, dude. okay so we can say here the status right HTTP status you may have uh, seen this before 404 not found so yeah this is status text also and this is status also so we can say that if a response dot status if response dot status is equal 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 404 through a new error not found but in this way but in this way you only have the you know security or error checking uh, against this status 404 not found okay so other uh, statuses like 403 like unauthorized 401 I guess unauthorized so yeah basically the point I'm saying is dot ok tests any of the errors but you won't get the exact error code okay so if you are uh, using dot ok you won't be uh, getting the you know exact error in your code but if you're using statuses like if you're using here 403 401 you can here say not authorized 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 I don't know the spelling sorry but yeah 401 uh, not authorized so you can uh, I can uh, <laughs> we can <laughs> actually check it uh, the we get not found and if in case it uh, you know provided us that we can use the unauthorized but uh, sadly it doesn't so yeah uh, we can check that as well but dot ok uh, you know prevents every error but you won't be knowing what exact error is that so yeah that one thing that's one thing you might want to do in your uh, response first dot then call in fetch but uh, what exactly is happening with this okay we uh, know that it returns a promise but what it what does it do after that I mean uh, how is it you know responding so uh, what happens is if we see uh, when so if we see that here so in prototype I guess in prototype we will get all the functions it has so it has a JSON 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 oh, come on JSON where are you yeah so JSON is a function and I don't think we will get anything except that so yeah we won't be getting anything except that but you have to take my word for it <laughs> so JSON is a function which will call uh, which will return a promise upon calling response.json when we call it will return a promise which contains the data of the from the endpoint the exact data returned from the database and yeah let's see Ooh, not bad huh so yeah that's about promises apis and let's i guess and that's asynchronous so we talked about everything one thing i want to talk about which is really really new and i want to address that as well because you know actually let's keep it simple for this for today and let's just comment it out I'll uncomment it once and yeah you're good to go so we'll start making our simple 
project we'll just list all the posts we have in here posts we guess uh, i guess uh, we get 100 posts uh, wait uh, we get 100 posts 100 posts so yeah we'll just uh, uh, what all properties we get user id id title and body so we'll just quickly make a list of posts i don't know if we'll do 100 we can do 100 we will do 100 okay so let's just quickly make h1 tag and we'll say header uh blog my fake blog posts posts <coughs> okay what okay uh, my fake blog posts and yeah it's here so we we'll, what we'll do we'll see we'll make a mm, i don't know we'll make a dev and we'll just create h uh, not h1 we'll create h3 i guess post title and we'll create a paragraph tag for post body post body okay we'll refresh we'll check it out it's looking good we can style it later but right now i wanna i wanna 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 i wanna i'll remove all this i just want to check for if not okay i don't want it not okay dude i want to grab all the post all the 100 posts i'll get all the 100 posts and i'll just console.log and start from there so what do you want to make what do you want to make i want to make a dev of class i don't know of class posts post i want to make a dev of class post i want to make a h1 h3 of class post title and i want to make a class a paragraph of class post body okay is it fine is it fine is it fine so uh, yeah so let's see what we get here i'll just quickly yeah so we get uh, an array of each array has an object oh sorry array has an object which has a body a title an id a user id so we can simply say that actually we we'll keep logging it for now and we'll just say json dot map if you don't know what map is well map is basically uh an array function since it is an array so it will go to each array and do something to manipulate it and we have to return the post or each element of the array so if we want to do something like uh we can do this like we can say console dot log post dot title so it will um go around all the elements and console dot log the title of each element so if we comment that out and just log it so it will log all the titles in that array so basically we get that map goes to every element of the uh, array which we are calling upon it and it will take that element 
as an argument and it will do something on that argument either you know console.log or something but it will do with that so what we will do what we want to do is we just want to create a div with that so we can simply do something like uh, document dot body dot inner HTML I hope this should help or this should work okay so we can simply say div actually I'll just copy it from here copy paste it and I'll just change oops dollar sign post dot title we'll see I get so confused between react and vanilla js these days I don't know body and I guess we are good to go yeah man so you saw that was so easy I'll just delete this from here right now and I'll yeah so this was so cool and for the last actually I should explain this code probably so I explained you what map did right actually I didn't saw any of your charts did you so uh, did you say anything hello 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 are you there are you there anyone I know I am there so I don't know who else is hello 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 okay so what we did is we selected document we selected body of the document and we just saw that inner HTML append this plus equals is basically appending this this thing to the body and this is template string which is I guess um, implemented in ES7 template strings in JavaScript from which version which version I know I don't Google with good grammar I'm sorry ES15 so yeah we have it from ES6 only so yeah this is basically very cool and efficient way that we don't have to you know do all this like we're doing like hello then we are adding variables in it then again we are saying it again yeah so we don't have to do this we can be in the same string and we can just add a dollar sign then curly braces and add the um, variables in this case title and body in that same template string okay that is done so yeah I guess the JS code is pretty clear to you and now we'll just style our posts I just wanna style it like card system so I'll just say that style style body 
um, max width 750 pixels and I'll say margin margin auto so yeah it gets in the center and I'll just say that actually you know what font family I'll add Arial Alvertica and sans serif yeah good and I'll say that post dot post should be um, should have a border of one pixel solid black I have to refresh I'm forgetting again and again should have a margin of top and bottom I guess 5 pixels so that makes it 10 pixel and auto at the left and right and we can add padding also padding we can give uh, 20 pixels yeah looking good actually you know what I'll just add padding 5 pixel to top and bottom and 20 pixels at left and right yeah that will do I'll uh, I'll make this from h3 to h4 uh, h2 I actually because I think that's a bit smaller so yeah and I will what I'll do I'll add a box shadow box shadow of uh, I don't know I don't know I don't know 0 2 pixel 5 pixel black a uh, really subtle box shadow refresh why am I keep why I keep forgetting it I guess this looks pretty good I think right I'll increase the par margin actually 10 pixels I'll do yeah it looks really good really good really good really good so yeah I have a fake blog post that data is being fetched from the internet from the server that is not really on my computer so that is really really powerful I don't know if you guys realize that but that is actually really 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 powerful all right so i guess i don't have any audience no issues no issues uh what else i guess this is pretty good to say goodbye huh, i don't want to cry If anybody is there, please, please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me.
Okay, I guess I'll just close the stream. I actually want to say last thing that 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 oops 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 god seriously yeah i wanna say that 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 i should have opened my profile only that is really really bad anyways Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I created this revamp of Instagram and I gained seven followers after that. Ha ha ha. So yeah. Follow me on Instagram. That's all I wanted to say. Now bye 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 bye. Just close the stream okay bye bye take care stay safe times are not good so yeah bye